our dear friends welcome to the channel so today i am just trying to explain you how the a solid products will be classified in general the solid pro products is an a fabricated products having the shape and their shape size okay where the types of solid products okay so according to the shape and size we are going to classify it into four types the first one is one dimensional products and second one two dimensional products and third one three dimensional products and the fourth one it will be axisymmetric axisymmetric products okay so now we will understand what is an one dimensional product okay so what are the example for the one dimensional products where one dimensional products suppose if you take the example here i have selected a plain sheet so in the one dimensional products we are having the a longer edge that will be the length where having the large length as compared with the the width and also the thickness okay where width and thickness that will be negligible when compared with the larger one so such type of example we can say one dimensional products okay so where we are having the long length and their width and also the thickness it will be negligible where this one we, we can say the sheet we can say it is an one dimensional products because one one length it's having large so the width is having more as compared with the width and the thickness generally any object any products having three dimension length width and the height so when any one is larger than the the remaining two that type of products we called as one dimensional products for example a bar and shaft beams trusses and so on okay so again the bar having the longer length where the thickness of the bar the width we can say that is compared to the length it will be smaller when and the thickness again it will be very small so that type of bar we called as one dimensional element so having the longer length and where the diameter and or the width it will be negligible we will make negligible even though in the shaft also having the longer distance and also in the beam the length of the beam it will be longer as compared with the width or the diameter and also in the truss where truss again it will be connection of bars and beams okay so this type of example we call as one dimensional products whereas two dimensional products the second one in the two dimensional products having it is like uh, having similar to and uh, for the any solid products if two dimensions okay so two dimension say the length and width as larger as compared with the third dimensional okay if you take this example here it is as one of the a rectangular plate okay so here the width and the other dimension like the thickness that will be negligible so any two dimensional okay any two dimension will be considered so length and width the thickness it will be negligible so such type of example we can say it is an a two dimensional products for example you will have the plate okay having negligible thickness so length and width 
that will be considered with the third one that is height of the plate it will be negligible such type of products we can say two dimensional products so the examples may be plates or the metal sheet are the best example for two dimensional products now coming to the three dimensional pro products likewise for the three dimensional products all the three dimensions considerably larger okay so all the three dimensional again we'll take the example for the three dimensional here the length width and also the thickness having large okay such type of products we call as a three dimensional products for okay so in a three dimensional products we will consider all the three dimension it may be length width and the thickness okay all three dimension will be considered then that will be three dimensional products now coming to the axisymmetric products okay that is the fourth one we are going to study now with the axisymmetric products in some solids most of the mass of the solid particles are symmetric with respect to is one axis okay so one axis or two axis such solids we named as a axis symmetric products okay suppose you can take the example a cylinder okay it may be a cylinder or cone or the prism any prism you can take where the products are symmetry about one axis either it may be symmetry about x axis or the y axis so such type of products we called as axis symmetric products so examples <coughs> cone cylinder okay so these are the best example for the uh, making to understand of types of solid products okay so hope you have understood if you understand please subscribe the channel for uh, more updates in the finite elements method so thank you once again